every time. How? Every fucking time. Yeah. Welcome back to Team Fat Get Choose the Fat. New Year, new me. <laughs> Not me. Not me. <laughs> we already fucked up. <laughs> I am Jason. This is Alex. This is Dennis. This is Dooley. The producer's here, but she's drinking a beer. Hi. <laughs> so, Butcher, it's been a minute. Fuck you, yeah, it's been a minute. So, you want to <laughs> give us, like, the fucking lowdown on what the hell's going on, Ski? My beer's frozen. Well, I mean, as much as you can. Yeah. 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 I mean, without too much personal information. Yeah. Um, pretty much the you know, boss man went down with pneumonia and everything. So he's been in the hospital for the last two weeks. He's finally getting out today, thank God. No, yeah, that. Yeah. He, te- he just texted me a little while ago saying they changed their mind and he's getting out today. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, was so like last thing I saw, he was still going to have to be in until tomorrow. Yeah. He said that earlier, too. But then he texted me while we were at the commissary. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I've been working every single day. Except for Christmas Day and obviously New Year's Day today. Um, but yeah, get my ass kicked every single day. It's nice. Yeah. Making the money, though. Hey. That's the way I'm looking at it, at least. Mm-hmm. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the same time, y'all did, That was a spur of the moment thing. If you would have. It was a whole week. Was fucking oh, slow. all week. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, oh, okay. I don't think we're working next week, this year. Sorry, guys. This year, next week. <laughs> this, this week, next, next year. You this year, it, next week. You said it right. Whatever. Now. I mean, you know. Whatever. Yeah. This, this, we're not it working. It was rough. Uh, yeah, some cre- some weeks cre- and some years and yeah, it's just it's really boring. Well, you know, yeah. it's like we're only in our third year, so like I feel like every year we learn something new. Like, I feel like we say this every year. No, for- yeah, and we we won't go out on Good Friday. Yeah, <laughs> Good Friday's <laughs> sorry, not a it's just not day. our day. <laughs> <laughs> Good Friday's bad Friday. <laughs> well, yeah, Good Friday's a fast day, so yeah, I get no why nobody's eating it. <laughs> yeah. we, can get, guess we can do general. fish and chips. <laughs> no. 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 We've had this no. conversation. No. <laughs> to change the fryer. Then. Wouldn't even do shrimp. We could just do it for one day. Yeah, you have changed fryers. Then. I mean, it's like, you know, on the last day of the fryer. Oh, fry that'll fish. be some delicious fish. I think mm-hmm. I've had mm-hmm. some like that. Big <laughs> 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 From somewhere else. I was about to say, not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my fault. <laughs> Realistically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we just have dually for the day. You're a fish and chips guy. Oh, yay, back to St. Patty's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I have 17 orders of full fish. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> dude. So, uh, Dooley, how was your holiday at the Zon? Like, everything's good? I'm good. Have you yeah. all slowed down? Did you work? Yeah. Oh, no, uh, Christmas Day we didn't work. But Well, how was I going to get my fucking delivery if you didn't work? I know, right? It's Christmas. That's why your delivery was late. It's Dooley's fault. It's I mean, yeah, fault. like, you couldn't order shit for One. delivery. Fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> Unacceptable delivery. I know, I know right? Like, what the, happened to Amazon? Yeah, the butcher yeah. working every day damn day. Delivery. Damn, <laughs> one question at a time. <laughs> <laughs> no one's questioning anything, we're just bitching. Okay? Yeah. No one has Should I record this? No sit there no and take it. It is not yeah. requiring you to respond. You I have Bezos' it. number. <laughs> I, I can just send it to him. This Amazon Prime two day thing seemed to have just disappeared. <laughs> it doesn't and, exist. And no one even questions it. Yeah, it's like, like it's gonna be. It's like they tell you it's gonna be two but days, but it's like, yeah, it's not. No, no, <laughs> it's, no, nah, no nah, it's like nah. not even like won't be delivered until February second. Like what? I don't believe it because sometimes I put it in there. It says it's gonna be like you know four days, and it comes like the next day. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean it's magical. That's like, when Dooley has your back. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, I said, Dooley, I just place an order, throw that shit in the truck now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna start fucking with you if I knew you had something like you bought off of Amazon or to see something when you're like cart that you just pull up randomly and be like remember that right, but, Jason that uh, one thing that's coming on the way right now by the way I highly feel like it would go the other direction like if Dooley found your package it wouldn't be that you got it the next day that's why it says four days because <laughs> Dooley touched it so <laughs> just Jason Fossick put, put, put that in put the it, bottom of the put mail. it under the machine <laughs> well this is going to problem solve <laughs> they'll get to that in about a week <laughs> it's like next year they find your package like Anybody know where this goes? Someone blew the dust off it. <laughs> I have seen some stuff like that. <laughs> oh, like like something that just off. like fell off the conveyor belt, yeah, and rolled right. into a corner. Be That's like, supposed uh, to go to Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the stuff, I mean, because obviously we have a whole bunch of the same stuff going through the building. There's stuff that's on the overhangs, like when it's on the cross belt, it's moving at like 10 miles per hour up there. So sometimes boxing stuff fly off the conveyor belt 
Like, there's from the roof, fragile from the top, the crossbow and everything like that. But there's a huge ass net that catches everything. Oh man, they take the fun out of everything, don't they? <laughs> yeah, just as you're walking to the side of nowhere, toast smacks you in the forehead. <laughs> I mean, you were wearing a hard hat and a reflective vest. <laughs> they could, they should have seen me. <laughs> Has anybody ridden that thing? Yet? <laughs> Um, someone had like to. the hanging, just like someone had to. Especially if there's a net, that's yeah. a safety yeah. feature, man. Yeah. That's a safety feature. Like I, there was, I, like I totally like fucking it. would go into a tote and just. <laughs> 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 it looks fun up there, it. Like you're just like, wow, this is moving really fucking fast. Like, it's like, like the worst version of Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the Rainbow Road, Road Kart and everything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow Road. <laughs> it's like riding around in a fucking igloo cooler. <laughs> It is extremely shaky up there, though. Oh, that sounds, sounds safe. Like, yeah. once you walk, it's... It's like a wooden coaster, man. It's fine. Well, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's rickety. It's fine. Like, when you go up there to, like, clear jam or some shit like that, like, you're like, it just seems all stable. Once you walk up there, you're like... <laughs> no one can see shit. it. Shit! <laughs> as, as Dooley Shakes come in. <laughs> hey, my shakes are coming in. But, uh, yeah, uh, everything else, pretty calmed down pretty good, except for, like, one or two things. But, uh, from what I've heard... The shutdown might happen to do the uh, remodel. Not remodel, more just more restore. They got re- to replace the net. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too many things have fallen on it. Basically, just uh, maintenance and repair on the building. But I don't think they're doing three weeks. Like I talked to one of the army people. They're like the army people. RME. Oh. Yeah, he definitely said army people. I was like, God That's damn, what Amazon's we call expanded. <laughs> it's its own I mean, country. What do you What do you do for work? I'm in the Amazon army. <laughs> But <laughs> we're, taking, we're ch- taking over space. Yeah, but I thought that was chicks only. We're taking over space. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But they they were like, um, we were closed down for one day for maintenance. You know how much money do you think we lost that day? I was like, probably a couple million. They're like, yeah, I think we'd be closed for three weeks straight. See, I find That's that hard to believe. Billion. I see. I don't think they lose money. Yeah. I feel it's like just, it just shifted. the workload gets shifted yeah. to somebody else. It shifted yeah. distribution centers. Yeah, the other distribution centers pissed off. <laughs> like we got double what? <laughs> we got to do a million more in sales today. This is some bullshit. <laughs> well, no, that, that's a uh, the Amazon life right now. So yeah. you could call me Jason, the butcher assistant. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Jason came over and helped me out for a couple hours and everything. Uh, on Didn't the Friday, cut but... myself one time until I got to the bagel the other day at the food truck. We don't even sell bagels. <laughs> I was making myself a snack. Cut my hand cutting a bagel. I was wondering what that bandage is. <laughs> Look, we're cut brothers, though. Dude, yours is gross. What happened to you? Yeah, fell. How do you leave that portion out? No, oh, I was going to get to it. Oh. But <laughs> just, no, um, sober, too. <laughs> That's <laughs> like I used, me, too. I was, on, I was at work. <laughs> well, again, uh, slipped on my pajama pants on my frog. That frog floor room. Over, over room over yeah. the garage. Yeah, that, that thing. I mean, you know, he did not step on a real frog, but that would have been a better story. <laughs> that would have been a better story. <laughs> stepped on that. But stepped and slipped on a frog. <laughs> <laughs> we had a glass cup sitting there, and he landed on the glass cup. Full force fell on that bitch. Nice. And I was like, well, it's not bleeding. I'm not in shock. I mean, so. That's a that's a big gash. So it took a minute to start bleeding. No, didn't even really start bleeding. Really? Yeah. And I went to the uh, patient first, and they're like, it's too shallow to really stitch. Or like it's already healing too, so I was it like, does, I mean, it, so it's more of a scrapey cut, not so much a penetrating cut. Yeah. Okay. It looks worse than it is. Then. It's gonna be a cool ass scar. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Chase these scars. Yeah. Why, why does that one spot on your arm have no hair? Well, let me tell you about the time I slipped on my pajama pants. <laughs> <laughs> my frog. On oh, my frog. <laughs> Dooley's go hard. <laughs> <laughs> Completely sober. <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need alcohol to kind of function. You know what I'm saying? So. That's while I was working in the uh, Amazon army. Yeah, I realized, uh, I realized when I went to work at the butcher shop, it's been a really long time since I had to make meat look pretty. Usually we just cut it up and throw it in the grinder. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I am not that good at oh, this Dennis anymore. Dennis make this look pretty? What the fuck? He did, no, he came back. He was like, 
I realized I'm really out of practice. I, I need I need practice, and I was like, "Do you still like you've already done it now? Do you still need practice? Like you just did it for like three hours?" Do you? And he was like, "I mean, it definitely looked better towards the end." <laughs> Dennis had to fix a couple of them. I'm not gonna lie, like that went a little deep. I'm sorry. He's like, "We'll just trim that around a little." <laughs> well, Dennis is probably looking at you like how you looked at me at the hotel. God, I was, I was him a little bit. <laughs> well, the main thing that sucked was like his, uh, my supply. Whenever my supplies came in, they didn't have the two rolls, two extra rolls of butcher swine that I that I ordered. So I'm like, shit, it would have been a lot faster if I had two rolls of butcher swine. It would have been, cool. been cool. It been cool if you just said, hey Jay, bring your roll. When I said, do I need to bring anything? I didn't even think you could have been it. like, yeah, bring your roll, roll of butcher twine. Wait, you saw what my block looked like when you got there. You think I was thinking about that shit? Yes. I, dude, I, you want to talk about <laughs> the a mi- fridge was like yeah. full you of want, notes. No, you want yeah, you want to talk about a fucking damn mountain of meat. On my block. When we say fridge, guys, think shed wall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah like, fridge door in this case is walk-in it's fridge. It's a walk-in It's cooler, a very yeah. big... And it's, it was not just on the door. What was it? Uh, for Friday, I had 51 orders. For Saturday, I had 75. Did you get help on Saturday? I had uh, one dude, Wayne, that, that worked there last year and everything, during the holidays and everything. He came and helped with counter help and everything, but I was the only cutter. Mm. Yeah. I got to the point... And I screwed, I, I'll admit, I screwed it up on the way I planned it for Saturday and everything, because I came in to do all the, like, the tenloins and everything. I should have just left the tenloins and do them as I needed to and everything, and just did the pork crowns instead first. Yeah. Why didn't we do the pork crowns? <clears throat> Why didn't we do the pork crowns on I, Friday? I thought about it, but I was like, I was already tired of shit. So I mean, I, mean, I feel you. Yeah, you know, I'm like, fucking, uh, so I was like, the problem with the pork crown, it takes about an hour, about 45 minutes to an hour for each one. I had four on order, two for Saturday, two for Sunday. I was smart on Sunday. Whenever I, I was like, all the orders except for the tenderloins and the pork crowns were done for Sunday and everything on Saturday do night. You, real fast, on the pork uh, crowns, do you do like the butcher twine trick mm-hmm. where you wrap twine around the bone and just pull it? doesn't work. It, it works perfectly fine like on the lamb crowns and everything because those, it's a lot softer and everything, so it just pulls right off. I've tried to do it plenty of times with, with the pork. The, with yeah. pork, and it just doesn't. It just it tears it up a little bit and everything, but you still got to go in with the damn with a uh, boating nice. life and everything, yeah. And, like, yeah. I think, yeah, because I it was just, I'm, I'm still fucking tired. Like, so is, my is my mom a- was yelling at me on Christmas Day because, like, every time I sat down, I fucking started falling asleep. So like, wake up, wake up. How many fucking hours I've worked in the last four or five days? Like, Jesus. So the the pork crown roast is just a bone-in pork one? Uh Two. Two it, bone it, yeah, it's uh, eight ribs from from each one and everything. It's center cut part and everything. Yeah, because in order to get a full crown, it has to be sixteen ribs total. So that way, it comes the whole way around and everything. I started laughing because was it uh, Sunday? I saw whenever I was uh, on Facebook on one of the meat cutter pages and everything. Dude's like, I'm going to sit out twelve pork crown rows in less than fucking forty minutes, and I'm looking. I'm like, No, you didn't. And then he showed a picture of all of them and everything uh, lined up, and I'm like. Now I see why you were able to do that. Because he didn't... He chimed the bone a little bit and everything. And he didn't clean any of the fucking damn bones. Oh, okay. He didn't clean any of the bones. But then at the same time, he also cut like halfway through each chop. Like, it's, called, it's called easy carve. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you, 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 you you do a little slit, just a little slit and everything to help make it yeah, curve. You know, curve and everything. And I'm talking, he's about a good inch and a half into the port loin. I'm like, that shit's going to dry the fuck out. I get down. You know, cool that you want to learn and everything, and you want to take on the initial. But I, w- I would have fired you. <laughs> I literally would have. I'm like looking at you like because now I got fourteen fucked up roasts. Yeah, and I'm like now I'm just got to come into all fucking chops and then just French the bones and everything. So right. make like, look a little like porterhouse, or like a yeah. tomahawk chop and everything. I'm tomahawk like, pork chops sounds stupid expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Cheaper than the tomahawk st- ribeyes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no fucking yeah. I did. I did appreciate that. That definitely helped and everything. Because I was like, I did not want to be there till midnight that night. Right. And, you know, we got done like I think it was eight thirty, something like that. Something yeah. like eight thirty nine o'clock that night. Yeah, it wasn't terribly long. No. But yeah, I'm like, so now we're gonna bust something out that's been sitting at this house since my birthday. Okay. And as you do and, that, yeah, my little present. Well, since we all love hot sauce and beer. Hot sauce and beer. <laughs> what in the but hell? We, is this? Monsieur Carr bought me a bottle of Oak and Eden <clears throat> in bottle finished 
With, uh, like whiskey. two months ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire French mean. oak, wheat and spire bourbon whiskey finished on French oak spirals. So. So, in Dooley, what you got here is a, a tasty three pack of beer flavored hot sauces, premium beer flavored hot sauce, Pilsner, IPA, and stout. Okay, I feel you'll like the Check stout. That. What sounds That's interesting. Right. Ooh, you got a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was there. it was there. We heard it. Small, small one for me. I sir. know. <laughs> Go ahead and pour half the jug for me. <laughs> Did we? Yeah, our Christmas was way busier than I anticipated. It yeah, to it be. was. We did a lot of traveling. We went to all the spots. Yeah, this so is the very first we time left we had the house like to do social things twice, three to now. No, three yeah. times in one week. I know, man. Three times in like in and all that. And all you committed to it and times. followed through. I know. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Pretty daggone impressed with myself. Um, but yeah, it was like we did the uh, the Christmas story. Went Asian for Christmas. <laughs> went out to the Not Asian restaurant. That. It is funny because I did see a lot of that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I went to Kroger for uh, a little beer or something. Or something a beer and some shit for dinner or something like that. And the Asian... It's Sushi Hibachi, Golden Dragon, Chinese place. And then there's... Another not American food, and they were just packed fucking busy like, on Christmas Day. Like <laughs> Jewish tradition. It's we, Jewish tradition. Oh, I've never been to Jude. That was my first time at Judy's. I've never been Szechuan. there before. And I'm not a fan of what, what the dip song. No, no, the food was good. I'm not a fan of family style dining. Oh, I lazy Susan. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What's What's the matter with it? I personally prefer not to share my food and I don't appreciate when that's the point of dinner. Well, when it, when your food comes, you just take it off the lazy Susan. Well, and then that just looks like you want like, rude, right? And like Connor did it. Well, he was smart. I don't think he was sick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, sure I'm not feeling like, great. I'm just going to I'm just going to have this all to myself. <laughs> Anybody want a little bit before I dive <laughs> in? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't I, I don't like it. See, I like it in the fact like that like you can try like several things. Ooh. I just I I was just smelling while you Fuck. were talking. Yeah, Ooh. that's all. It's strong on the on the smells. Yeah. Ooh, you want to smell? No, I, I just mean. I wasn't ready for it. No, you know what I mean. Like I I right. went in for full. So this is a bourbon aged. A barrel. A aged. bourbon aged. <laughs> it's a bourbon aged barrel. Uh, so that's, I mean finished. that sounds yeah. pretty. You just lick the you just lick the wood. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that unleaded? <laughs> no, it's, it's, full, it's fully leaded, bro. In the military, they call it JP eight. It, uh, it's a lot five, smoother. Five. It's a lot smoother than it smells. Oh yeah. What was that um, thick ass Damn. noodle? That's good, right? That yeah. Lizzie had. That was so don't gross. No, I'm not really 100 percent sure. We can pull up the menu real fast. It so. was thick ass noodle. It yeah, was it was weird. Did you say you could pull up the menu? Yeah, Judy Session one. Oh, oh, I yeah. thought you meant from like. Uh, Christmas dinner or yeah. whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let me, me, go. Go. me pull up the me menu. Uh, yeah, I think maybe next year we should um we should host a thing for Christmas. You say know. that now. Well, uh-huh. you're right. You're yeah, she says right. that now. Uh, and then about a week before. No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> week before, fuck all of you. Uh, I don't what care. Are you go home. Week? <laughs> next week. I was going to give her some time. Did I say that? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Let's see. It was... Even the the server was like, I don't like this dish. Yeah, she... Yeah, when your server's like, "Mm -mm." mm-mm. Are you sure you want that? It was was at the spicy cold noodles? Yeah. Or was it clear noodles? Clear... Tossed clear noodles? The rice noodles? No, dude, they were big square noodles, like... What? It was like, like college, like a yeah, like, block of college. Think, think tofu. No, not even. I don't know. It was like a, it was like a clear... I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like a gel. Like a jelly. Like a, okay. like a gelatin mold. Yeah. And the, they just cut it into, like, long rectangle strips. Yeah. And you kind of just tried to gun it down, like just a wet worm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no swallowing, just down the, the hatch. Sauce? Go, go, go. The sauce that was with it was delicious. That it was, but the yeah. sauce didn't stay on; it just kind of slid off <laughs> of the jellified noodle. <laughs> See, okay, so clear noodles are these little vermicelli angel hair noodles. Yeah, that, that sounds way better than what we had, right? 
spicy clear noodles. And then the other one, what did I say? Was so you had some Soylent Clear? Yeah. <laughs> spicy cold noodles. The secret is the people. Yeah, it was, it was tough, man. But I had the, uh, I had the fried mutton, um, which I can't. I'm reading the menu right now. I definitely misread. Um, <laughs> fried mutton. Yeah, so it was deep fried mutton. Okay. It wasn't bread. It. So I was like, so fried, when I say fried, is no Chinese wok fried. fries. But yeah. It was weird. But I read it as curry, but it was cumin. And I was oh. fucking confused why I needed, I, I felt like I needed taco shells. <laughs> I mean, that shit was, it was good. Cumin, yeah. It, definitely it was good, but shells. it was like, it was very, very Mexican. Taco-y. Very taco. Like, <laughs> like, I was like, I was like, this is great. But I could, like, if I had some taco, if I, did, if did, I had some tortillas, man, I'd be slaying it right did, now. Did the thought come in your head? What? Is Dooley back there, Chris? <laughs> Dude, we were where were we at? We saw like there was like a whole shelf of tahin crap. It was, oh, like, yeah. it was like gift boxes. Where it was were like we? it had a, I think it was no, the home sense, the new store. Yeah, it had like I think there was like a bottle of tahin that was like you know two feet tall. I was like, dude, I should have gotten that for Dooley, man. <laughs> it is clearly way too much. Like, no one's ever going to use this much. Like, the one that you bought, because I had one, and then you bought one, they're both still in there. <laughs> <laughs> that that kind of reminds me. We had Pre-Sort send a whole bunch of tahine. Like, Car, you hit me again? Cardboard box this big, probably about foot, and then about two feet wide. Mm-hmm. Full tahine coming down like all the lines. Were you so excited? I looked. I was like, "Oh, if I wasn't busy as fuck right now, I'd totally take a picture of this shit and send it to Jason." And be like, "The tahine is coming." When, when you say you're busy as shit at the Zon, what do, what does that entail? I'm just out of curiosity. I feel like you should always be busy as shit. Though. Well, right. yeah, you feel like there's shit moving. It's conveyor belts. Like, I mean, do you like you constantly taking shit off? Are you still building walls and sweating balls? When I have to. Probably but, not sweating as much, though. <laughs> no, no, you are. <laughs> it's still hot in there? Oh, yeah. It can be 30 degrees outside. After you start moving, you're like, fuck, I need shorts. <laughs> but you got to no. get you some breakaways, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's party time. <laughs> and just a little PT shorts that just say building walls, sweating balls. Just, everyone's like, where'd you get that? It's Yo, custom made. Dude, like, <laughs> like, like, the, like, the, like the little wrestling trunks. Like, <laughs> just across the, like yoga yoga booty shorts. I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, like homeboy off of the jackass. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody well, say time to dance? <laughs> well, when I say, when I well, say like, busy. What are we rating this uh, Oak and Eden real fast? Uh, I give it a, out of five or ten. I think it needs an ice cube. Yeah. Uh, I could, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> like, uh, it, like it's pulling on the back of my eyeball. It's powerful. I'll yeah. put it like that. Uh, again, it's smooth, but it's, it's, is it, it's is got it, some. Is it ninety proof? What is it? Yeah, it's ninety proof. It's tough, man. That's not. I mean, it's not. The w- flavor to me is weird. Okay, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's very woody. Well, they do also <laughs> have a charred uh, oak spiral inside the bottle too. So that is true. Because it's finished in bottle. It's finished. It's got a little burn to it. Yeah. Too. I mean, yeah, it's as I said, it's strong. Yeah. It, you, can, you can feel keep you, it. That'll keep you warm in the back of a tractor trailer, loading boxes. <laughs> yeah, that's not safety at all. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> so what are you drinking? Sweet tea. Diet Coke. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. I'm just building. <laughs> I'm just building balls and sweat walls, man. <laughs> so are you drinking? Building balls. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want me to build another ball? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can build a ball. Sir, you're researching like crazy. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, we went uh, Christmas. We went and played a murder mystery game. That was Christmas Eve. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Christmas Eve. We went and played a murder mystery. And um, of course, you know, the ATF agent figured everything out. Oh, I was, I, was yeah. about, I was about to say, clearly you're still free, so no one caught you? <laughs> I, so, I, I, mean, I had to think for a second who the ATF agent was, but for a second I was like, who? Was what, like, what game are you playing? It was, like, <laughs> it was like halfway through, and he's like, it's me. I'm like, what? He's like, yep, I'm the murderer. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, he's like, I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, though. Like, it was, I mean, it was, I don't remember what the game company was called, or whatever, any of that, and, um, but it was like... We were like playing a murder mystery, and we were like on a train, 
and like a, a famous uh, piano player had been murdered on the train. So you're like playing like a game of Clue. Yeah. And like you got to go around the house and find like, like I do declare. You got you got to find like murder weapons and shit like in Clue. Like mm. they're stashed around like her or our cousin's house. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it was a good time, and then they were like, you know, we got to we're still missing the re- we're still missing the gun, and of course the ATF agent's like, I got one. <laughs> like, that's, that's not what we're what looking for. for. <laughs> you sure? How do you know? Yeah, how do you know? This, this game got a, r- a lot more serious. I know, especially since he's the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> this this right? shit just got real. And now, Chris now he's he just turned into a fight for your life. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's exactly that is a real murder. Like that, you want to? That's it a scream. Got real. That's a scream plot right, right there. When did this happen? Christmas Eve. We were we were playing murder mystery. Guess what? There was a real murder. <laughs> Violent night. It's like, yeah, right? Right? That was pretty good. I like it. That was a good movie. We're missing the gun. No, we're not. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, it was fun, man. Like, uh, I was I was Eddie Tor, which is like a journalist. You get it? Like, because everybody had a name. It's like similar to like. Not me. I'm the only one who didn't. Yeah, you didn't. You were like, she was like some Spanish princess that was good at making tortillas. <laughs> I mean, at least it's in, it's in, it's in her <laughs> realm. Uh, that's, her, that's, her, that's, her <laughs> that's her wheelhouse right there. <laughs> Ole. What's, what's your name? Taco Cat. <laughs> Taco, Taco Cat. <laughs> what's your Princess last name? Taco Cat. <laughs> it was it was fun, but I got I got over it very fast. Like there was it was too long. It was a lot of breaks, <laughs> and I was I just stopped paying attention to. I mean, I fuck it. I wasn't even reading name tags. I was just walking up to the <laughs> So, like, there's this point in the game where, like, you know, you get, like, challenges and stuff like that that you have to do. And then there's, like, clue package. Yeah. Like, and you got to, like, and it's supposed to be, like, uh, like, like you're talking shit, basically, yeah. about people in the room. But yeah. So you find somebody like, in, at random and you just walk over and you have, like, a card to read. And like, you just, it's basically, like, talking gossip. Yeah. Like... Homeboy who was sleeping with homeboy's wife, and that's probably why he's fucking dead. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> but I mean, it was fun. It was a good time. And then, like, you found like a an escape room, one. Yes, yes. Which seems like it's a one and done kind of thing. Like, yes. even the murder mystery, they're like, oh, there's different endings. Like, yeah, the same dude's dead. Yeah. Everybody has red hair. We already know there's only three people with fucking red hair. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, fucked. Yeah. <laughs> it was the butcher with the knife <laughs> but uh yeah so now we got like an escape room that you want to do and like I don't know how the fuck that's gonna work in a house like I'm pretty sure I can get out <laughs> <laughs> this Hurry. magic screen is so difficult <laughs> how are we gonna get out that glass door that can break <laughs> real quick <laughs> just run through the walls I can't figure out the lock code to this sheet <laughs> I don't know, but it was a good time. And there's evidently another one, so I'm pretty sure there'll be another murder mystery dinner that we're going to. But the spread was nice uh, for a vegetarian. She put out a lot of meat. Like, <laughs> yes, yeah. Is that a, is that a sex joke? No. <laughs> <laughs> the spread was nice for a vegetarian. She put out a lot of meat. I'm just, you know. Well, she probably saw on the roster of who's coming. They're like, well, the Fosses are going to fucking be here. So. Better bring a charcuterie. <laughs> <laughs> Better not be no seller on that shit either. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, man. You want to pull up one of these bad boys? What do we want to talk about today? Uh, I mean, we had, and I do apologize to everybody listening that we did not do a Christmas. I thought we had one more week. I was really not tracking. Yeah. Well, the butcher also got detained. <laughs> detained. 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 He made it sound like he was arrested. He was, he was shackled to the butcher block. Let's, let's put it this way. I mean, people are like, are you living here? I'm like, let's put it this way. Work got custody. My bed gets a visitation right See, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's not getting detained. that much visitation right now. <clears throat> so I mean, let's talk about the uh, the best gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Shit to buy people for next year. Yeah, right? yeah. Just keep Doesn't this in just... mind. Go ahead and load it in your Amazon cart now for that chef in your life. Just uh, so I can pack that shit up in that truck. And so this is, uh, this is uh, you know, useful gifts that you get for people who might cook, you know. And I thought it was a good idea to talk about, like, before Christmas. 
<laughs> but we're late like normal. Um, so, we may have talked about this. <laughs> we just don't remember. No, we definitely didn't talk. So the the multi function grader which you can get on uh Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> For thirteen dollars. All right, so this one obviously is like the, the cone one, which I like. I mean, I don't know what you would really do with it other than like, you know, herbs or like Nutmeg? I don't know. It seems too small to like really do anything. But for twelve ninety nine, it's a great stocking stuff. Real, real quick on the side. Um, oh. That just looks like she's pouring bleach down her. That's air that's, vent? Like yeah. her floor vent? That's <laughs> literally what the shit photo shows. Yeah. Like, you're hey, you not are, wrong. You're a Chris too much air? Too, too much dust in it. your house. Zump air bleach in your air vent. <laughs> I want one of these, but I have a I have the stainless steel version. The I have one steamer of these. baskets. Yeah, so the stackable steamer baskets. Uh, if you scroll, we can tell them the price on Amazon. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, twenty eight dollars for some bamboo steamer, and you only got two. I got I got one. Huh? I got one of these. You have one of those? Yeah. But do you have? I learned a do trick. You have three, or do you just have one? Because so, one doesn't work. So I learned a trick. Um, I was watching the Selena. Is that what? So, right, so she has a cooking show. Yeah, Celine Dion. Gomez. <laughs> Gomez. Yes. Celine Dion. It's all Canadian. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Everything she that. makes is poutine. <laughs> like, it's like, so and here we are today. The disappointment it's in my face. Like, <laughs> damn. She just looked at Dilly like, "Are you fucking serious?" <laughs> so anyway, so I learned this thing. Um, so uh, Colette, the the chef who judged our octopus, was on the show. Mm-hmm. And she was cooking with Selena Gomez. Um, and then she put a penny, or you take like a coin, like a penny or a dime, yeah. something not like a quarter. I think a quarter is probably too heavy. You put it in the bottom of the pot that you can't see where the water is. So as it boils, the penny dances in it. Ding, 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 ding. And then like when it stops, you need to have water. So you never run out of water. So you don't scold your shit. Uh-huh. So you throw a penny in the pot. Learn something new from the person who... Thought we had the best octopus in California in the grapefruit. Right? Somehow, <laughs> for everyone listening, make sure you don't All the throw the penny in the pot of water that you're cooking with. Yeah, this is for boiling water in a steamer. Sorry, I guess I should really should have clarified that shit. Huh? I'm just gonna have people just throw a penny in there. Yeah, throw, <laughs> throw a penny in your consomme. <laughs> is your pasta water ready? Yeah, my penny's dancing. My penny's dancing. <laughs> no. Throw. I mean, all right, get a get a new penny. Make sure, Add it's, clean. Make sure it's clean. <laughs> Add the skeddy. <laughs> After you boil it, it's I don't fine. feel like there's any such thing as clean money. I mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get yourself a cook, or you can get the cook in your life. Uh, Twenty two ninety nine at Amazon, the old world Italian cookbook. So. I mean... Don't feel judged, everybody. You can get this for yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're an adult. You can do what the fuck you want. <laughs> Buy birthday cakes. Not even your birthday. Oh, we were just talking about this the other day. Yeah. Uh, so the we, so here's a question. How do you guys feel about enameled cast iron? I'm it, a big fan. Because you, you don't have to cure this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's no, you don't have to season it. Like it's, It works well. Yeah. It's $299 at Amazon for the Le Croset. That uh, is and $300. It, I said $299. 95 Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you just round down. No one does that. They do it on purpose. <laughs> no. I am why they put the two ninety five. <laughs> like. <laughs> That's two. That's two hundred dollars. I mean, that, basically, in your math, that is two hundred. Yeah, that's two hundred. It didn't reach three, so it's only two. Yeah, that's, that's only. That's why they do it. I, mean, I, I am the reason. That's only. <laughs> that's only two hundred dollars plus ninety nine little one dollar bills. That's you fine. Know what I'm that's, Shit that's, and handling. that's not three whole one hundred dollar bills. In hundred payments, that's I, only three dollar installments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the cast iron uh, chef's oven, which is. Basically, just a Dutch oven. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, my favorites. Nice. So these are actually only three. Or what, go back. Are they five stars? The handle looks right, but it's not. They're usually not riveted. Sorry. Um. Anyway, he's Hinkles. chef talking. <laughs> <laughs> the the Hinkle uh, twin signature three piece German knife set for eighty nine dollars. It's probably ninety. It's not Hinkle. <laughs> uh, it is Hinkle. Trust me. Is Willie? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Z Willing is Hinkle. Uh-huh. Unless they broke up. Did the band break up? <laughs> now, do some math. Let's check it out. Do well, some math. <laughs> do some math. That's only $200. Oh, that's math. 
Um, okay, so let's talk about the tika. Uh, you got that the one? Tikas? Yeah. Tikas? Uh, cutting boards? So is this a wood? Is yeah. that Or is it a style? No, it's uh, a neutral wooden cutting board. Will look good in any kitchen. Bonus is made with ethical and sustainable materials. Oh, two by four. That honestly looks like someone took a whole <laughs> bunch of pieces of wood and like glued it to de- together, did a little C clamp thing to it. I yeah. think that's, that's absolutely how what happened. Yeah. 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 I'm about to say, Good job, Dooley. You want to make cutting boards? <laughs> Remember, yeah, it's only, here we go. It's only $90. I was going to say, <laughs> it's $98.79. <laughs> uh oh. The green, do you want green pans, babe? Are we ready? Are you ready to commit? The green you... pan, ten piece pots and pan set for only. Hey, this one is actually two ninety nine. No ninety five involved. <laughs> uh, it's cheaper. No, okay, real fast. What makes these? Pa- what's what makes them so good? Why why are they the PFA green? free? They're green. PFOA free. Even though they're not actually green, are they made from su- sustainable sources? I feel like they're black uh, pans. Dishwasher. Well, built to go from the oven to the stovetop to the dishwasher, oh. making a perfect gift not just for the cooks in your life, but for anyone on your list. I'm not, uh, I'm not we, gifting anyone that three hundred dollars. Yeah, pot, pot pants set. unless they're matching. <laughs> matching. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Saucy noodle <laughs> variety set. I'm totally okay. On board with this. Well, one. Let's talk about uh, what is this? Saucy noodle. So you get two of those, three of those. So it's like the Lay's pack. So evidently, the ones you get three of are like plain. What uh, is that? <laughs> soy garlic. Does that say coconut lemonade? What the fuck does that say? Lemongrass. Coconut lemongrass yeah, curry. Yeah, lemongrass okay. curry. Coconut lemongrass curry. I was like, is this a coconut lemonade? Like, I mean, what the fuck? But you did get excited for a little bit. I, I, I'm excited now. Yeah, it's, it's fine with me. Okay, so just so you guys know, I went and looked. They are still they are still a band, so it is okay. it is still together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, not the linen kitchen apron. Fuck that shit. Do you need a linen kitchen apron in your life? Uh-uh. It's only for, 28 for for twenty eight dollars, ninety nine. Uh, twenty eight ninety nine, sir. So is this burlap? What is it made of? It looks like burlap, right? Not caldo linen, whatever that is. It definitely looks like a, a bleach burlap. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a thing, but I mean, no. you know, you know, a nice apron is not a bad gift. And, well, this is. Uh, <laughs> speaking of bad gifts, if you want to be a bad gift giver, get somebody some pre-cut paper parchment for their baking. I mean, sheets. that's probably not a bad gift for a, a baker. Somebody bakes a lot of shit. I, I mean, why not? Like that's like me going to the store and buying you a roll of Glad parchment and like, boom, here you go, Merry Christmas. I thought about you. It's only sixteen dollars. I, <laughs> I also got you the waxed one too, so you can make me delicious chocolates that I can eat. Please keep baking. <laughs> it's like, I mean, or maybe you know, you give it to the pothead baker, and like they're like, oh, "Dude, I really appreciate that." That saves me from going to the store. I don't even have to measure; they're already pre-cut. Yeah. It's fucking sweet. Like, <laughs> oh well, that's a. I mean, you know, it's a big. Like, is that a great segue? That's a pretty good segue. Is, <laughs> that, right. is that really the next topic? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the next one on the list. Fuck it. <laughs> So, you know, is it us? Is it judging us? always, you, you know, this is according to your state's laws. You can't say us. Dooley and I aren't included. So, the, your state's laws. Oh, yeah. So, this Virginia city oh, yeah. has the highest cannabis consumption rate in the U.S. I am willing to bet it's probably more north. I'm going to go to like Richmond. What do you think? Arlington. 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 I mean, that's a good guess right outside of uh, like northern, well, northern, northern Virginia. Virginia. Talking yeah. like an Alexandria yeah. area. That's what I was thinking. Uh,. Okay, so, so let's let's like skim real fast. Oh, you're, I'm trying to get some statistics here. Uh, da, 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 da. According to the yeah, so, uh, so there's a significant America. increase in 2013. Seven percent. The survey found that 49 percent of Americans have tried cannabis at some point in their lives, up to 30, up from 38 percent in 19, uh, 1913. So, sorry, 2013. I just went to Dennis's fucking age. My bad. <laughs> you can keep scrolling. Uh, we went from thirty-one to fifty billion dollars in cannabis uh, sales. <clears throat> keep scrolling because I'm trying to find the city. Yeah, well, here, really here we go. Say. Here we go. They're going to drop a list of all the right. most. Comp- all right, all right. So, cannabis consumption. So, all right, by city. Now, number one, obviously not in Virginia. Here, this is not a list of just Virginia, but number one makes a lot of sense. I think just because, uh, well, no, there's right. a lot of fucking people. Oh. Good job. Yeah, I was trying to miss. Spoiler alert. alert! There it is. Like, all right. Spoiler so, alert. <laughs> so, here we go. The Virginia city that made it to the list is indeed Richmond. See, okay, this looks like uh, major cities. Uh, does 
Norfolk and Virginia Beach not fall under... I think or, Virginia Beach actually has a larger... Population. It's than, the largest uh, city in than, Virginia Beach. Yes. In, in, Virginia Beach is the largest city in Virginia, Virginia Beach. Beach. To be fair, though, we also have one of the largest <laughs> military fair, populations. Oh, that is which true. Which probably... Cuts down on the cannabis consumption. the marijuana consumption. consumption. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it does, because I can imagine there's probably some... <laughs> People that try and get away with it anyway. Oh yeah, dude, they get Article uh, 15s and they yeah, get busted yeah, for yeah, ranking. Like, whatever. you do not want an Article 15. No, you don't. That it's, is like the worst fucking thing ever. I've never had one. Well, yeah, because you, you weren't in the military. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's like where they take your rank and then they take like half of your paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> for like a month, and then guess what? You're gonna work extra that month because you fucked yeah. up. Yeah, you fucked up bad. Like when you're in, what do they call it? Like. Mast in the Navy? Uh, like, yeah. Captain's Mast. Mast. Captain's Mast. Like, like, uh, especially go DUIs. Mast. Especially for the DUIs yeah. and everything. That's the biggest one around here. In Australia, a New York strip is called a porterhouse. In France, a bone in ribeye is called Côte de Bouffe. Côte de Bouffe? Côte de Bouffe. Côte de Bouffe. No, like, okay. so, so I was watching a show. Well, right. they cut, like, depending on where you're at in the world, they like they have totally different ways of cutting meat. Because, like, in... Uh, you go down to Argentina or in Brazil and everything, the New York Strip is called rump roast. What? Yes. Rump roast? Yeah. But that's also how you get the pecanias. Hey, could we been... do, um... Could we do what? Roast beef po' boys off the truck? Like, keep warm? I think, obviously, I'm thinking about this whole menu. <laughs> <laughs> I want to create. <laughs> it's, it, uh, it, uh, I mean, uh, technically, uh, it is possible. But you're cutting into like uh, if space. we're not if we're not doing cheese sauce then yeah yeah yes. it would all just be heat well I'm just trying to think of stuff that would be like you're talking about roast beef with the brie to be to be very specific truck one day one day I want 2024 to be the year of Team Packet new menu shit not just the same old oh well, you want to rotate dude that like yeah like that was supposed to be the original plan like I understand that a lot of people are gonna be upset if they can't come and get their best filly one day how about but- be well intense. <laughs> <laughs> We're up in our shit, bitches. <laughs> yeah, right. Like forty nine ninety nine. Come and get them water. Still you know fucking hot. Spe- you know how to spend some fucking ten on his guy. Six ounce. Six ounce. Six ounce. Six ounce. Yeah. What are we doing? Hey, it's just like your little puff pastry. You like you eat it like a sandwich. Yeah. Like it's like it's a it's a it's a like a like a meat pocket. A meat pie. A meat pie. A Hold hand. out your hand. A ham pie. Hold out your hand a and dump pie. the sauce on. Right. That's what they're called. Ham pies. Ham pies. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's, but yeah, so I just thought it was interesting, like, yeah. going to what you were saying, is like, the different places, like, different countries, and yeah. like, what different cuts are called. Um, but again, like, hanger steaks are hard to come by. Yeah. Um, flat irons, too. Yeah. When, why did flat irons become so hard to get a hold of? Uh, most people don't want to carry them. Like, I, I, Where's the flat iron come from? Uh, it comes from the uh, shoulder cloth. It's got, it literally has a piece of gristle that runs right through the middle of it. I'm like, and yet they still charge you like twenty eight, thirty dollars a pound for it. And I'm like, I don't want a steak with gristle right through the middle of the motherfucker. Thirty dollars a pound for No. Not around here. But other places, yeah. Shit, hanger steaks are they're selling for like twenty five bucks a pound. Shit, we're selling ribeyes at twenty five ninety nine a pound right now. Good lord. <laughs> Is there a beef shortage? No, there's grain shortages. Grain? Grain's main thing is pumping it up, but yeah, like he's like <coughs> I had one person who came in the other day that wanted a uh, seven and a half pound center cut beef tenderloin so he could do a Wellington. I looked at him like, first off, not possible. Not? Because not one solid, one straight piece. Like, the biggest tenderloin I saw the entire, the entire time that I did How? It yeah, I'm trying to. was I'm 10 not... pounds before it's trimmed. And, and I lost, and after I got done trimmed, I weighed it up. It was literally freaking six pounds. Like the side muscle alone was almost a, almost a pound and three quarters, and then you take the, that the silver. You putting that? Like, you putting that in the ground beef? Hmm? The side muscle? I, I, I uh, you know, fucking damn peel it out and everything. Yeah, I get all the, gr- the gristles and all that stuff off of it in the silver skin. But yeah, no, um, either that or like whenever they buy a whole ten line, whenever we're not busy, like holidays, we'll take that. We'll you know seam it out and everything, and like the, the uh, parts that we trim off also whenever we're cutting the steaks. We'll make a little uh, steak kebab, with, with, okay. with a little meat skewer and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you know you're getting, you're getting full money's worth and everything. Okay. But shit, man. Whenever he's like, oh, I need, I'm like, let me tell you the price first. And they're like, why? And I'm like, 
Because I guarantee you're going to say no. <laughs> How mm. much? What's the price? Right now for a center cut beef tenderloin, forty six ninety nine a pound. What? Yeah, choice. That's choice. That ain't even prime. What the fuck? 40, like so, this dude. Damn. We're paying over. We're paying almost twenty one dollars a pound cost. Right. And then uh, you got to figure factor in all the labor and everything, and then all the stuff. All the, I did when I did the cut test the other day. Just in trim was almost sixty dollars. Good cost. Lord. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> fuck, I'm about to stop carrying ten ones for a little while. <laughs> like, fuck this. I mean, do you, sell, do you sell a lot of them? Is it, like, popular still? Like, I mean, is I went, it... I went through... I feel like you would sell more ribeyes than anything. What is it? What is the most... Uh, my, well, it's... Like, the answer to my question is, what is the most popular steak that you're selling right now? Well, if you go by steak, it's been it's been fillets. Okay. But, like, if you're talking, like, roast and everything for... Like, especially for Christmas, what is it? Uh... Went through 25 cases of bone-in ribeyes. 19... Well, no shit. We went through like six that day. <laughs> <laughs> like... yeah, that was just for the next day. That wasn't counting all the walk-ins I still right, had. Right, that was just in. the orders. That was just orders, bro. Like, yeah. How many are in a case? Uh, four. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, that feels right. Yeah. My finger is still recovering. <laughs> From my blister. From pop... Yeah. When you got pop that damn knot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You trust me, yeah. I know. <laughs> I was like, next time I'll just fucking wrap a band-aid on my pinky before I get there. <laughs> just like, you know, something to like, you know, wear through like the padding. Yeah. Like... All right, let's, uh, what are you doing? Like, you feel like you just got like a hundred things working. What is the acorn? Right? Oh, you're pulling up information? Yeah, from. All right, so I, I did want to talk about this one because uh, for a while there I was on the Vodka. Uh, the Vodka? This, this one or this one? The Vodka. No. Vodka. So, according to uh, the world's best vodka, according to the 2023 U.S. Spirits rating. What do you think? Oh, don't. No, the, the, I already looked there. There's not really a. Belvedere. There's not a list. Kettle one. What do you, what, 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 is what is it? What is, what is the best? Probably get Grey Goose. Uh, Tito's was on the rise for a while. I'm, I'm a huge Grey Goose fan, yeah. personally. Yeah, Tito's and vodka. <laughs> I feel like sure. it's going to be a And movie. you get charged twice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just click on the click on the link. Do 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 do, and the best vodka, gold medal winners. What the fuck? Geo three vodka. I've never heard of it. Geo three. Why is gin at the top of the list? Well, because that's the best. That's the best uh, of the year. Yeah, the best rum, dude. All these crap. I've never heard of any of these, and it's in the U.S. Didn't it say in the U.S.? Yeah, well, the rum's fucking damn uh, Jamaica. (laughs) But I mean, like, we're this is the spirit of the year. I mean, we probably live on the wrong coast for this. Dr. Beak New Orleans New, New, Orleans, Zealand. New Zealand premium gin. So that's the best gin in the world. The best spirit in the world yeah. uh, in 2023. I want to go back and see if we can find like what's the best one in the United States. Absinthe of the year. Number eight, just so you guys know. Uh, From New Zealand. <laughs> apparently New Zealanders are getting fucked up. Right? Damn Kiwis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just realized there's sausage in the oven. <laughs> oh, you never took if you those had out. A timer on them. I was supposed to. <laughs> They'll definitely be cooked. Yeah, it's been a minute. How long has this been going? Forty-seven. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's some, that's some well-done sausage. They're done. You know, they're they're done. They're done. They are a little spicy. They might be a little over. A little done. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We just want them cold. Do we want to heat it up? <clears throat> I don't know. What's yours? What say you? They're good no matter what. They're either they're cold or they're hot. All right. So this is what is it again? It's the frosted banana bread pop tarts. Sounds. Ex- I haven't had a pop tart in I don't know how many years. I freaking like pop tarts. Yeah, yeah, you used to freaking like pop tarts. You are correct. Well, it seems like. They're not as big as they used to yeah, be. Yeah, that's definitely a flat part. <laughs> is that is that like the Mandela effect? Is that just yeah. us <laughs> getting bigger and things getting smaller? I think so. That looks like a regular size pop tart. I don't know. Man. I don't say it's not the minis. I know that. Yeah, yeah. Break it up. Let's give it a go. There's this is. It said we have motion <clears throat> in our backyard. Let me. I gotta check that. You gotta go check that. It's the cat. If it's the cat, it needs to come inside. Okay. Why won't you let me? It's our squirrel <laughs> looking for food in the bowl. 
The squirrel is looking for food in the cat food bowl, and it's disappointed there isn't any. But wouldn't you be? Yeah, now it's going to run away, run back on the top of the house. Okay. Do squirrel things. But so what flavor is this? Banana Frosted cream? banana bread. Frosted, Frosted banana, banana bread? bread. Okay. Mm-hmm. I could see that being better hot. <laughs> We're gonna find out. I get it. I mean, I get the flavor, but yeah, I could see it being better hot. So, is that real um, banana? You think? You don't? Do you like this? There's cinnamon in there. There's cinnamon in like almost every pop tart. <laughs> That's probably why I don't. Well, yeah, strawberry. I'm pretty sure there's cinnamon in that one too. I think it's in the crust. Oh my gosh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Do we want to counterbalance this with some fish? <laughs> oh, I forgot about those. <laughs> <clears throat> that sounds like a no. <laughs> oh, right. you guys are in for free. <laughs> are you sure? Because right now, that doesn't sound like a good mix. <laughs> you want some hey, cinnamon banana You guys fish. go ahead and uh, sip your beer. Let's go. All right, scroll down. So the U.S. Spirit Vodka of the Year is GO3. I don't, I've never heard of it. General Orders number three. I don't know what either. General Orders. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Oh, I was wondering what the GO3 was. Houston, Texas. Yeah. I haven't had. Yeah. They're taking Tito's title. <laughs> For East Carolina, what, what was it? What was it about East Carolina? Da, 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 da. Our sweet potatoes grown and distilled sweet rural. Potato. So they're using sweet potatoes to make vodka. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I still like pop tarts. Do you? <laughs> I guess we're buying pop tarts. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So you guys need to really ball. cleanse your palate for this next show. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! But you know what? While we're on sweet, can you grab a grab a popper. Yeah. You know, while we're on sweet, I found something. That I've never had before. Not a bad $30 for a bottle. Yeah, I've never had one. Um, have y'all? Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You? Dooley? I don't think I've ever had a caster. I but... haven't either. All the things. All the things. I'd rather y'all get to the, um, hey, what is that? What is what? Don't you? What, 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 what is that? Buddy? My beer? Is that your beer? Yes. Is that why it was hidden in there? <clears throat> it was in the cooler. Who threw it in the cooler? Kelly. She said, "Do you want to try this beer? I'll put it in your cooler." Oh, I did not know why that. I thought Will threw it in the cooler. No. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Give me that one back. I got another one. What is that one? It's, I believe it's uh, farmhouse. Yeah. Orange Crush cider. Oh. Well then. You're trying to steal my bestie beer. Your bestie beer. She probably didn't like it. And that's, that's how I ended up with it. That's how you got it. <laughs> oh, this is definitely right. more your speed there, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> she, drinks, she drinks like Modelo and Corona and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, then she's like, mmm, orange crushed cider. We try. She tries. Sounds like we're going to do something awesome, and we're not. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, just. Oh, burn. wow. Okay. That's it? Nope. Are they always this small, Venus? That's what she said. <laughs> That's disappointing. That's also That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Shit's going down. Okay, how do you... Uh, yeah, here. Have some. Cheers. Cheers. Here, you guys fight amongst yourselves. <laughs> oh, they will. Oh, I'll, I'll bring it up. They know what it is. Oh. Huh? No, it's not yeah, bad. It's not great. I no, it'd, it'd, it'd probably be better... Probably exactly. be better deep fried. Probably be better... Hard Everything and crumbly, good. like um, a real Oreo. Well, so we went, we we were at the store, and there was a, at the store. We did a lot of hungry shopping this past oh, Yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, like, you know, and then you I, end up with shit like this. Yeah. Cake, like, oh, Oreo cakes. I've never had one of those. At least, I was just looking at them. We were looking at the Oreo aisle, by the way. They were on sale. Yep. All the cool flavors of Oreos were on sale, and mm-hmm. it was like... I don't need that many Oreos. And they were still like seven dollars. No, I think they were like three ninety nine. Yeah. For an Oreo? Yeah, just one. Just, just one Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you. No. Because it was tiny. Yeah. Okay. So we got. We're gonna what do. Is it? I don't we're, know. We're gonna, oh. That's literally what I'm. Not oh, is it a beer? Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do a roulette. It's oh. the first. It's the first podcast of the year. Uh, I was just passing. I just play that's a little my ru- job is to pass. roulette. Yeah. I thought it was bourbon again for a second. All right, so <laughs> so Alex, uh, we have to drive. So <laughs> so so cakesters, Oreo cakesters, not fantastic. Mm-hmm. Better not deep-fried. terrible. I don't like. They'd be better deep fried. I think they would be awesome deep fried. Some ice cream. I, 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 there's a weird aftertaste going on there though. 
I want to know what Melissa thinks is better, this or Oreos dipped in sour cream. Oh, definitely Oreos dipped in sour cream. Mm. I forgot no, about did we try that? No. Yes, we did try. Yeah, we did. That's so good. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like have a mommy? segment called Melissa's High Times? <laughs> 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 what did you try? Oh, Oreos and just sour cream are just fucking amazing. Just keep feeding me. <laughs> would you Mustard dip? Would you dip a cakester in sour cream? No. Yeah. You would? Yeah. Well, I was what, what, slap what? that shit right on top oh. there. What's next? Raw carrots and mustard. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. The sweetness with the bitter. I'm kind of into it. I, mean, I, did All fr- right. I did french fries with mustard and hot sauce. So yeah, yeah shit. Yeah. Fuck it. We'll try that. <laughs> All right. So in I've this, got carrots and I've got mustard. So we're, <laughs> we're, so right we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna rule that and we're gonna like I see you got some stuff pulled up there, Dooley. Let's uh, take a peek. Um, so this beer <clears> is <throat> brought to you by. I don't know what I want to drink. The beer. The, it's brought it's to you by. I want to- I want the cake stir out before I try a new beer. That's probably a good idea. I got it all. Yeah, it's I was brought like, to you I want to try this beer so I can uh, get this cake out of my mouth. Ah, okay. Followed brought by, by Wawa. Followed by fish. <laughs> brought to you by Wawa. <laughs> yeah, y'all are in for a treat. Mm-hmm. Right. It's coming up soon. So just get ready. All right. Can we eat the sausage first? You guys should probably we'll just ask it. me to just go grocery shopping without him. <laughs> and it would save you from all of these extra things well, to know. eat. <laughs> all right. So what are we talking about here? We, this is a conversation I believe that Alex and I were having and it became a podcast topic. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yes. Because we were trying to figure out like what is the difference between a seed, a pip, a, a pit, pit, and a or stone. Because we were talking about stone fruit, so because we were yeah. making hot sauces. Yeah. For, yeah, for everyone, yeah, I, I was going to clarify. It's just fruit seeds, but what kind, like peach is a great example. Yeah. Well, that's the pit. example they have. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the one that we discussed so, when we had the conversation. So the the seed is on the inside yep, of the, the pit. pit. Yeah. So okay. So we got a. So how does it? How does this work? Is my question. So the the fruit drops to the ground. The fruit withers away, leaving a pit. Then the pit somehow splits. dissolves. All right, I think it's drying out. It splits open. And then the seed comes out. Yeah. So it's been nurturing this seed the whole time on the inside? I don't think it's been nurturing. I think it's just been housing, protecting. So nothing happens to the seed itself. Okay, and then so once it splits, the seed falls on the ground. Then so, we're at, so we're at like, you know, one in a million chances that this turns into a fruit tree. Uh, no. No, because again, the seed has been protected the entire time by the pit. So the seed is is viable until it opens up. And then... I don't even know if it has to hit the ground, to be quite frank. If moisture gets into the pit, the seed will probably still sprout and split the pit open anyway. So, but you're hoping that a squirrel or some other animal eats the fruit further away from the tree that it fell from so that the shade from that tree does not yes. kill yeah. the plant that's trying to grow. See, see this is complicated. Fucking Venus. nature. <laughs> it's like that fucking pine tree that was growing next to my house that was like... I didn't want to cut it down, but I had to. Like it's like, there's not a pine tree anywhere near my house for this tree to be like the little helicopter seed <laughs> had to fly a long distance to get to where it was, but it was growing like right beside my house, and like no one needs a pine tree fucking up your foundation. Oh, <laughs> like, in the azalea. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I had to cut it down, and I felt bad. It's like you know the the odds of this happening are so far. Bye, little tree. Yep. Today is not your day. Bye, little tree. No, because that was you right were the next like, to the house. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. What is an acorn? Uh, a, a nut. A seed. I mean, is it a seed? Is it a nut? It's an oak nut. So they come from oak trees? It's the nut of the oaks and are close relatives. Ah, so see, but the nut contains a seed. So the Ah. seed is what is inside the nut. The nut is not... So the nut is the stone? (laughs) I guess that would be a good way to put it, yes. All right, so this is beer. Can I eat an acorn? Can you eat an acorn? I'm pretty sure. Scratch the obstacle. Don't squirrels eat acorns? Yeah. Or do they just I mean, I I don't don't know if that means you should. Yeah, I I have no intention. I identify as a squirrel. You yeah, identify yeah. as a squirrel? I like to store nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what so the, the f- beer. <clears throat> Stouty. Ew. You think it's a stout? Stouty smell. Mm, it's a brown ale. We haven't played in a while, so I'm, I might be out of practice. I'm with you on the brown ale. <clears throat> yeah? Yeah. I'm thinking it's a brown ale. Oh, that's not bad. We're going <laughs> 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 to... 
<laughs> Making all the noises and like, oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> It's, not that bad. <laughs> it's like the drunk chick who swallows her vomit. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Don't be worried about the alligator. Building balls and stacking balls. <laughs> I think. Okay, so I'm gonna go. It's like a four point eight brown ale. I give it. I mean, it's just a brown ale. Tastes good. Uh, give it a. Uh, we out of five, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give it a three and a half. Four. Somewhere around there. I'll probably go with brown as well. Uh, you just said stout, do you? Well, it okay. smelled like it at first, and then... It's a blonde the, stout. And then you guessed something different, so you changed the answer. <laughs> Fine, fuck you, it's a blonde stout. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh. ABV, I said 7%. I forgot about IBUs, but go ahead. IBU, that fucking, I don't know, 140. I know it only goes up to 100, but it's just... I was going to say, like, 20. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with 50. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's I'm how it four. works. 140. I was going to say 20. Okay, 40. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to go with 4. Dennis forgot because uh, yeah. you took so fucking long. Like, <laughs> do, you, do you need some more? I mean, <laughs> you need Thank to think you, about sir. it while I go pee. Thank you, sir. May I have some more? more? Right? Yeah. No, uh, Did you say s'mores? S'mores? <laughs> s'mores? <laughs> what does s'mores will affect you? What does affect you to me? What did you do? Uh, we can do s'mores I'm not right gonna... now. <laughs> <laughs> they might be a little stale. Pretty sure <laughs> we've got all the ingredients. I'm pretty sure you do too. Uh, no, I'm going to go with a Marzen. Ooh, okay. Solid. Solid. That's a good guess. 5.6. 15 for IBU, and I'll give that a 4.5. I like that. That is shit. a really solid guess. I forgot about Marzen, but... I mean, again, you know, I don't know where this beer came from, so... Pretty sure it's from the, uh, the Collins. Probably. Yeah. Most likely. I did see the brewery, so I'm not going to go too crazy here, but I am going to say a brown ale. Uh, I'm probably going to go, I think 4.8 is a solid guess, but again, I feel like some of that's my judgment based on the brewery. Uh, IBUs, I really don't, I, I don't even think they're going to list it, but I'm going to go somewhere in like the 18 range, and then uh, it's like a 3, not my not my cup of tea. Yeah, can you jump on there and send Dooley's PN, can you hop in there and like type in whatever information we need? Uh, what do we got here? Sir? This is Samuel Adams Flannel Fest Munich Dunkel. Ooh, so yeah. a little bit old different. Is that? Uh, probably right. from like October. Uh uh-uh. uh, last what year. Was, what's it called? <laughs> it is last year, but no, what that's was it called? two years. Dunkel. Oh, uh, Flannel Fest. Flannel Fest. Sam Adams Flannel Fest. <laughs> Munich Dunkel. Let's see. What do we get? Three, nine, ten. Five point two percent. Twenty, 20 IBU. You, know, you nailed that one. I did get the IBU. Julia was double. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he said one hundred forty. So yeah, 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 yeah one forty dropped to fifty. He's only a little bit off. You know. I mean, I think Dennis was the closest. It's a, it's a German. Dunkle, yeah, I mean, uh, hit me again while I uh, pull out our next surprise. Uh, I don't, not that. Jeez, Lord, don't. Oh. <laughs> We're not mixing beer. I, mean, I would... need to clean my palate. Oh, God! That is not clean. All right. So, I don't know what to do with this um, and how we're going to do it. So, this is, where's, this is going to be fun. Um, you should probably get a utensil. I have sort. those set okay. up. Um, I already don't like this. So <laughs> Something's fishy. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Did you not even have to walk inside? No. That's the scary part that's... about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm like. Do I really got to take part in this shit? All right. I'd, I'd rather you have a piece of the army <laughs> kid, okay? For the, for the sake of the holidays. I'm Those are be... over. What, you got to get felt a fish over there <laughs> or something? Today's holiday. Oh, yeah, today's holiday. Quiet. <laughs> so, I just, I was, I don't know why. Or honestly, there's no reason for why. What the f- Yeah, dude, so um, I was uh, just cruising down the aisle, and I happened to look over, hair. and it's it's herring. Yeah, smoked herring? No, th- I don't think this is smoked, sir. Oh, fuck. At least go wrong. Give me some smoked shit. <laughs> I right? got that's that. Dried. That's that's coming up next. Fuck. Dried uh, herring. So, no, 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 no. I don't know what this means, but it is uh, Kipper style. So It's Jewish. It's, it's got like it's got like plaid, like flannel. 
It's kind of segued from the flannel fest. It's, it's kosher. Is it? Yeah. You think? Yeah. It doesn't, I don't see probably the got it from the kosher Does fucking mouth. Does that make mile. it any better? No, I, uh, this was like in with the sardines. Um, <laughs> I've never had it before. It just looks terrible. Here, you can pass that around and let everybody know I what think Kipper it's is. It's probably going to stink. Yeah. And um, all I, the, the doors are closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're rolling the dice today. It's got a nice can, it's oblong. Uh, I'm going to go, it's kind of like, uh, I'm going to venture this, I'm going to be more like sardines, right? Herring? Herring? Uh, oh, that is, look at that. It's like cat food. Oh, yeah. Do this have mustard in it? You, you don't have to take it all off. You don't, you yeah, leave it. You were you're going to yes. get it, uh, you're going to catch it. Delicious on crackers, bread, toast, sandwich, wraps, oh, or straight from the can. Add to your next dip or spread or to your favorite fish cake recipe. Oh, do you even want, like, crackers or something? Crackers probably be cool, but we don't have any out here. Oh, look at that, look at that flakiness. <laughs> we don't have any out here. The kitchen's literally four feet away. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's got natural it's, smoke flavoring. I don't think so. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, just, just hold on. Wait, uh, no, where are you going? We haven't even tried it yet. Why do you think she's leaving? <laughs> <laughs> the bloodline is kind of dark. I'm going to oh. go get some crackers. She's going to come back when the podcast is over and be like, I couldn't find any crackers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, dude. That is like strong. You're going to ruin the good crackers? <laughs> 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 okay, so that is kind of strong on the uh, cat food. I can smell it. What did you do on uh, New Year's Day? I ate cat food out of a can. <laughs> yeah. Why do you hurt yourself? <laughs> we don't. Jason makes it. I'd rather, have the, I'd rather have the Armageddon. Oh, man, it is. Like, oh, Damn, gotta, he said he'd rather have the Armageddon. Dude, let's, open up one, let's open up one of these hot sauces, man. Ooh, and like, ooh. Good idea. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to doctor this up. Let's go with the pills. Um, I mean... You're just Let's go with the pills. It sounds like you're talking about like, yeah, fuck it. Let's take some pills. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Suck. We're going into the herring. There's Let's a... get rolling and see if this stuff is any good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who's making the Kool Aid? <laughs> we didn't even want to like try and turn this into a salad, mm. dude. Fish, That's cheating. Fish cakes. If if we're gonna suffer, you gotta you gotta I just mean, you just gotta suffer. You can't. That's cool. That's cool. You guys. Do you work. do you like uh? Don't worry, do don't worry, Melissa. Just keep in mind, if anybody Jason, throws you're up, you you're are in range. making this butler style uh, right now. Like, up. None of y'all are that big of bitches. Uh, I what? Fish you, on. you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the fattest one here. What are you talking about? I can eat hot shit. I don't know about okay, so, fishy shit. Okay, so, I mean, how bad could it really be? Have you ever had Why'd a Why'd you have to fucking say that shit? You know, I'd have been, I think we would have been better off if you had not said uh, that. Yeah, pass that down. Sure. We're going to hit it with a little, little bit of love. You're not even gonna try it first. Her. Do you want to go use? Yeah, one let me let me gun it. Let me gun it. Okay. Come on, give me one. I was gonna All say right. first round. One. This is on Alex, dude. First round's gonna be. Give naked. me one. Let's yeah. go. Don't, just, you, don't take it too long. Take it around. Take no, one, you take, take it. Take it too long. Take one. Don't change your mind now. Take well, one. They, I, mind. I said it was like, let me gun it. You just, you know, uh, you're making me second guess it. Just, I just, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to <laughs> think about it. I'm just gonna take it. And the, fucking gun it. The bloodline is so dark. Is my problem. Like I've. Okay, just go. Don't smell that bad. No, I'm all right. Is it like tuna? Tuna in a can? A little bit. I mean, a little saltier than tuna. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's not bad. It, yeah, the hype is... I'm not, I'm not running out to get any, but, you know, <laughs> no, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's like it smells way worse than it tastes. Yeah. yeah. It is very mild. This is my first herring in a can. It had some mustard. It was. Uh, she already said she had mustard. Uh-huh. No, no, like right mustard here. inside the thing. Okay. Well, but then, like it, wouldn't, but then it wouldn't be herring. It'd be herring and mustard. Like with sardines oh, and everything? Fuck, here comes the next shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Yay. How'd you get the wrapping off anyway? I stayed with the Kipper snacks. So, what we have here. This one I this one I have higher hopes for. That's why I started with the, uh, the worst. I like how he has no idea what the fuck Kipper means, but he's like, we'll stick with it. Yeah, it's Kipper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It sounds, yeah. It's good. It's good. So this here, this one is bipolar. <laughs> Not bipolar. I was like, what do you mean it's bipolar? Like, the fish had problems? <laughs> it might taste good. It might taste like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one bite, on one on bite. Boat. It depends on the day. Yeah, All right, yeah, so, yeah. so this one is going to be the smoked herring that you were, you were talking about. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and fry that off. That looks a whole lot different. Smells a lot different, too. 
So I, I imagine this is going to be more on the lines of like some smoked salmon, maybe. Um, very nope. Jewish. Can I get some crackers, please? Do you want to try the smoked one? Nope. You just just out all together. Yep. Like, I got you. I got you some healthy wheat crackers to try it out on. I love these crackers. Mm. Ooh, that is different. Okay, so the uh, the bloodline on this one just kind of popped off. I don't know if that's skin underneath. I'm just gonna ignore it and just keep working around it. You know, the less you talk, the better. I was gonna say, right? I mean, you gotta get the full effect. Like, what is that? Again, part? you made you made the first one sound so bad. I just wanted to get it over with. It wasn't even bad. Like. Just hearing, you know, I mean, you, hearing you describe yeah, it, the, like, really you know, not helping. I'm That's, really working on my descriptors, like you know, trying to explain to people. Just like, call how it, things call are. it beautiful. Jason, Ooh. do some ASMR. Just put that. It that is really skin. Mm, that's for you, Dooley. I got that one. For you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of skin. Um, <laughs> next you time, get your knife cuts better. <laughs> <laughs> Talk hey. about matches his jeans. Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pass. Take one and pass it. I'll get the little one. It's okay. I did all the work. Um, <laughs> which, which one's the one with all the skin? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Just that one. That's sure. sure. It's like you know. Look, the eyeballs aren't in the can, so we're okay. Yeah, I'm disappointed. You hope not. <laughs> I mean, look, it's not so much the eyeball as much as it is the octave nerve. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I think the first one was better. Yeah, the the first one was cleaner. Yeah, the smoked. I don't know how you feeling about the smoked, Dooley. I don't. I like them both. You like them both? Or you can take them both with you. I think the smoked is chewier and it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> so are we feeding our adopted cat these? Or Dooley? Dooley likes them. Feed it to Dooley. I think anything. that's what she said. <laughs> or adopted cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try let's try another round. Um, we, do we want to try it with the hot sauce? How about we just try the hot sauce? Well, because you gotta... No, that's not fun. Um, <laughs> you don't fun. suffer enough. <laughs> so, suffer. Do you, so do you want to do... Do you want to do the... The, no. the first one first. The one. first one? No. No? You want to do smoked? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I made my want to do clear. <laughs> just give me the cracker and some hot sauce. What do you call it a day? No, where's the other one? Oh, right there. Yeah, cracker. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what crackers do. Okay. <laughs> it's a cracker I I did not endorse this. It's <laughs> I mean look, man, I've had way worse, clearly. <laughs> this well, is not were, this is not that bad. My like, name is literally on a box of crackers, cars, crackers. Mm-hmm. So from my family to yours. <laughs> let's just do the hot sauce. You know what I mean? Oh no. We gotta have like you gotta have flavor, man. Like you can't just be eating hot sauce all willy nilly around here. Why well, we do it all, all willy nilly? Shut up, Dennis. I'm not asking you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. We do we it all the time, <laughs> but it's like normal. Like we just eat it like out of the bottle. <laughs> which one's that one? Uh, okay. IPA. So which one do we want to do? Pilsner IPA or stout? Yeah, stout. I don't know. With what, what pairs what with fish? I'm gonna go Pilsner. <laughs> oh no! Like, give me that IPA, dude. Let's make it all nasty. Like, <laughs> like you know, like what what country would this be a delicacy in? England, right? Like yeah. so, it's like it's herring and IPA hot sauce. Yeah. Mm. New England. Yummy. Um, and we England. have no idea how hot this is, so let's give her a go. Um, I think it has like cayenne. In it. It's got like a big opening, so I feel like you pour it liberally. Because, like, you know, like, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how hot you, that is. Get, mean, get enough mean, on there that you know it's not hot. Oh, you, you mean, like, the Leviathan? <laughs> yeah, just dump it on there. It's fine. Just get enough on there where it's you don't my, taste the fish. It's my last dab. It's my last dab. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that's a bad idea. All right. That's weird. Not bad, weird. Not really encouraging. Yeah, no. Right. That's weird. Not, not, not bad. Just, I mean, it's not. It's weird. It, well, that's pretty decent hot sauce, though, for like a Louisiana style hot sauce. Um, in a gift pack. <laughs> oh. That's good. I like it. A little two fluid ounce. Made the fish taste better. I mean, anything would help. Yeah. I mean, you. Hot sauce makes everything better. I guess you can put that on a cracker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I don't know why this is up here, other than the fact that it's like stupid expensive and it does one thing. All right, hey, you're paying for it four interest free installments. <laughs> so, who? Okay, who is making enough pizza to need the granite stone? Paisano countertop stove fried pizza oven. Stove fired pizza. Oven. Who is making pizza often enough, small enough to do it on your countertop? It's huh? small. <laughs> I mean, it's only hundred. Uh, hey, it's it's forty bucks off right now, man. Which is practically eighty. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. I felt it right here. In the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Well, no. <laughs> Three reviews. It's like eighty dollars off. I mean, it evidently has <laughs> it has decent reviews. Evidently, three one hundred percent, one hundred percent is four stars. Fun and easy to use. I suck at making pizza. <clears throat> oh, maybe this is better. Wow, idea. this product is very well worth it. Then it's something that families can do together. I don't think I need anything that makes pizza enjoyable in minutes. Right? right? <laughs> hey, hey, free shipping. Well, it better be. Uh, it's over ninety nine dollars, so you know. I mean, I like pizza. I love pizza. I get it. Yeah. I don't think I need it readily available. Uh, I do. <laughs> no. No, we the don't. The Look at look it. Okay, nice. look, let's 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 talk about it for a minute. It's let's nice look at when it. we have to actually really want well, pizza. You had to work to for it. Yeah. Like I, they shouldn't even deliver that shit. You should have to go get it to make hey, it that inconvenient. It's also saying you can make quesadillas. Uh, I believe apple we have. gratin. Galat, yeah. How oh, is it, galat? And cinnamon buns. How many one-use items do we own? All of them. What do you mean? Like, you, I'm pretty you, sure we specific. have a quesadilla maker. Like A what? A quesadilla. A we do not have a quesadilla maker. maker. Did we give it away? What are you talking about? We have Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I am the quesadilla maker. The bread maker. Okay, but that is also multi-use because it makes different breads. You have a box shredder. Uh, a what? I don't think you have a box shredder. We have shred cheese, George but it has Foreman four somewhere. different sides. Uh, we have. <laughs> we do well. We, I guess yeah. There is a George Foreman, but in our defense, that is not our George Foreman. Your mom left it, mm-hmm. um, oh, which no, is I also just a, a giant panini press. Yeah, like um, I think there's just a, a we have a panini full press. Of shit. We have a panini press. We have a George Foreman. We have the Snackster, which Maybe makes that's... little pocket sandwiches. With the hot red, dog roller, a hot dog roller, a fucking taco. Which also hey, you put taquitos on there. Yeah, or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ask Taco Bell, right? Like mm-hmm. it also does sausages. I'm about to ask um, Taco Bell for delivery, which is basically just the cousin of a hot dog. But, <laughs> <laughs> but what else? Okay, so we got the. Uh, the, the little 360 thing that you wanted so bad that you, like, pour, like, Bisquick in. And, I like, 100% know that this is my fault. I just <laughs> want to know. <laughs> How did we end up with you're, so many? You. Like, what? <laughs> you're thinking you're, you're on the defense over there like, no, no, no. She knows what, it's her, but, I, you know, yeah. she's, she's pushing it on to you. <laughs> yeah. How many want? So, yeah, pizza. Like, you know, like, what, I don't need pizza to be that easy. It be that easy. <laughs> I mean, it'd be great if pizza was that easy. I just, I don't think that it makes it that easy. It just makes it on the countertop, so it's smaller. Like, you still have to make the pizza. It's not like the process of making the pizza got earlier. Not to mention, did they give you a tiny paddle? Yeah, actually, they yeah, did. Yeah, that one? It came with a tiny paddle? All right, we got time for one more topic. You so, know. since you already loaded it up, we might as well. <laughs> it's just not worth the risk. Food safety pros are revealing a common foods they always avoid when shopping for groceries. Okay, so where do you think they're talking about? Like chicken, like like food safety, like probably fucking pre cooked shit and everything. You know, like you know, avoid like freezer broccoli because that's where all the fucking diseases come from. Broccoli, that, yeah, the recalls on broccoli are fucking that or kale. romaine, kale, and fucking romaine. Man, yeah. there was a time when yeah, that lettuce was out of hand. Just yeah. stay away from lettuce, you know. Eat started, more bacon. Started, right? The FDA was run by fucking name a t- ten year old who didn't like vegetables. Like, <laughs> 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 fucking recall that like salmonella and E. coli break out. Right, so let's uh, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this, Dooley. If you want to slow down, ah, <laughs> uh, raw milk. Okay, so they don't even sell that in the states. They do. You can get raw milk? You gotta get it straight from the farm, though. Where do we get raw milk around here? Just, uh, find a dairy farm. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. oh. Well, no, nah, I don't know if they're actually what? dairy cows. Well, what? I mean, like, will the... Will the will like, will you're like, talking about uh, burgies? Pretty sure you can get a burgie. No, not burgies. It's a different burgies, place. Burgies, really? Yeah, pretty sure. <clears throat> burgies is because here. Because that's the best for making cheese. That's all. That, I'm not so much worried. I'm not consuming it. 
Adds raw milk. Add some vinegar. Yeah, like, you know, rent it, like, get this bad boy going. Let's make some cheese. Right. Raw sprouts. Okay, yeah. so I've heard about these bad boys. Jimmy John's got in trouble for that yeah, shit. So. The alfalfa sprouts, yeah. Uh, they, why, why, why is, E. coli, like, guess where they're grown. Like, are people just peeing and shitting in the fields? Yeah, the undocumented workers. Because uh, they, they can't take breaks. Oh. Uh, yeah. Right on, right on your sprouts. Yep. Huh? Gross. Yeah, and your broccoli and cauliflower. Crocs. Mostly cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> the McDonald's products because oh, look. we looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pre-cut products, yeah. but the, the, it shows graphic. Oh yeah, okay. So pre-cut. So that's it's like you the the people in the facility are cutting, cutting it, it yeah. and not washing it and yeah. washing their hands. Yeah, mm. pretty sure that's how you get stabbed. Broccoli. Ooh, I like how you did that. Uh, and the yeah. watermelon, don't forget. And That's a lot of surface juice. space. Yeah. That's a lot of surface space. Oh, come on now, dude. Okay, real fast. Yesterday, I was in a grocery store it and they had a good. wing bar. <laughs> it did not look was good. Was I just hungry? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're probably just hungry. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he would just try wings. Like It was a wing bar. And I was wings. Like, yeah, I, I can tell it. you those cheese sticks looked about fucking... Yeah. No, days old. no one was saying anything about the cheese sticks. I was like, "Look at the glaze on these chicken, like, <laughs> like this, the, the sauce." I was like, "Dude, this shit looks good." I'm like, glad sticky. you said the sauce because then you said the glaze on this chicken. Is that like, like? Is it been sitting in the bin so long? It's got like the gel. Ooh, that's Ugh. the. That's how you know it's good. Mm, it did not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. What do you? Uh huh. No, I don't. What? Why? How are you? Oh, squirrel came back. Maybe Let's should, eat that. I'd maybe rather I that should, than the fish maybe again. I should, no. Maybe I should feed the squirrel. Again, we'll just eat the squirrel. I'd rather do that than the fish. <laughs> are we looking at... Are you seriously looking at Crocs right now? Like, you're not even like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... Is. Uh, it looks like... It looks like Ninja Turtles. Dave, sure. I don't so, know. I messed <laughs> up. So, we got, we got one more to go. <clears throat> Julie's looking at Crocs. Hello. What are you picking off of what? Don't ask. So <laughs> We've already had Harry. We've already had some weird shit. It's fun. <laughs> so I overcooked, I overcooked the 13th level of hell sausage. Well, Is that what that was? Yeah. It's good, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can see how much better it would be if it wasn't dried the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> but it is pretty goddamn good. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, that's, that's my fault. I left it in the oven and forgot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were all here. <laughs> <laughs> we know what happened. <laughs> it's good, though. Good Is job. it really fucking spicy? Hmm? Um, no. I think I, I think I cooked the heat out of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some kick, but it's not okay. really spicy. What kind of, oh, I should have asked you what meat that was before I... Pork. Did. Okay, good. <laughs> Bambi. It was fish. <laughs> <laughs> Best fish we've had yet. Let's get that fish sausage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Interesting. That's why it's kipper. No. <laughs> what does kipper even mean? I kipper style. that would have been looked up. Holy crap, that's hot. Are they two different ones, or is this just the same thing around twice? No, it's just the same thing around twice. That's hot. All right, so (laughs) you're putting hot sauce on it? That's awesome. I need hot sauce on my hot sausage sauce, sausage, sausage, sauce. You okay? (laughs) (laughs) I keep scrolling. There's only a tablespoon Producer's sweating. Is that the end of it? Just, like, wash your shit when you get home? Pro tip? Yeah. Wash your produce. <laughs> yeah, pro tip. Be oh, wash your reusable shopping bag. That makes sense, too. Yeah. No one does that. I never even thought about washing a reusable shopping bag. Are those, like, dishwasher? No, not dishwasher. <laughs> Are those dishwasher safe? I mean, they shouldn't be right now, but fuck it. <laughs> what happened? I was washing... Like, I mean, some of them doesn't, e- doesn't even... Some of them don't even seem like they would would make it through the washing machine. Definitely not the dryer. Yep. Just what take it out. Move? Just just take it out to the hose. <laughs> Maybe like hit it with a Clorox wipe. Yeah. Maybe anything would help. Oh, that's probably for like because people put raw meat in there and it can leak and no one thinks about washing. Oh, like the wet yeah. chicken yeah. bag. Yeah. Mm, that's good. <clears throat> now let me put my produce in there. As <laughs> 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 this equalizer has been smoldering in the bottom of the bag for a couple weeks. You have a kid and have diapers just sitting there. Yeah. Ooh, the dirty <laughs> diaper didn't even think about that. <laughs> we don't need undocumented workers. <laughs> <laughs> so your kids' diapers and they just. Who's 
putting dirty diapers in the reusable grocery bag. I mean, Thank did, you for did, listening did, to Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. <laughs> you can find dirty. us on Facebook at Team Fat Kid. On Instagram at Team Fat Kid Nation. On the Twitter X, whatever they are. At Fat <laughs> yeah. Yep. You get yeah. rusty. You want to try that again? We, yeah, we were pretty terrible at it. At the Twitter X, whatever they are. At Fat Kid One. Uh, wait, oh, YouTube. Right. At Team Fat Kid. <laughs> Do you want to do the website? Of course, you can find us online at www.teamfatkidnation.com. Hey, cracker. <laughs> you need a cracker? <laughs> All right. You can find the food truck on Facebook at Team Fat Kid Food Truck. Oh, shit. I got to redo the whole schedule. I forgot about that. We're killing um, it. They're all broken. Killing it. Uh, you can find it, the food truck on Instagram. Team Fat Kid Food Truck. You can find the food the food truck on the Twitter X. At Fat underscore truck. Are we supposed to call it Twitter X or is it just X? I don't know, man. Uh-huh. I don't know. You can call us for all your pre-ordering catering needs at 757-427-1586. Remember, stay hungry. Be creative. And don't forget to sharpen your knives. Peace, love, and bacon grease. I'm trying to eat some of this herring. Uh, <laughs> praise the Lord, practice. we out this bitch. <laughs> Namaste. Peace, love, and herring grease. It's Kipper, right? It is. <laughs> Murderer! So we ran into the